I thought I'd come to Dumbarton Castle and do a vlog about the tuning song Dumbarton's Drums. Well that was a plan anyway. It turns out that Dumbarton Castle has nothing to do with the tune. <laughs> The Dumbarton in the title refers to the Earl of Dumbarton, Lord George Douglas, and this is what's left of Douglas Castle in Douglas South Lanarkshire. It's where he was born. I'm standing in what's left of the original 17th century castle, and George would have stood here too. In the 18th century the castle was replaced with a beautiful mansion house and was demolished in 1938. <laughs> The Earl of Dumbarton was a Jacobite and soldier and he formed the Regiment in Dumbarton in 1675. They were fighting for France with the backing of the Scottish King Charles II. The regiment eventually though morphed into the Royal Scots and Dumbarton's drums is a regimental march. The title dates the melody and song to about 1675, although it does not appear under the title Dumbarton's drums any earlier than 1724. A version of the air does date from the Skeen manuscript, which is circa 1625, under the title I Serve a Worthy Lady. Robert Burns, of course, appears in this story. He included Dumbarton's drums in the Scots Musical Museum Volume 2, that was about 1788, and said the tune was the last of the West Highland airs. Here's a version of Dumbarton drums published in 1790 from the Caledonian Music Book. I'm going to play it with a 1756 tune simply called The Scots March. It's written with a staff with six ledger lines on it and a G clef, and I hadn't seen that before. You also might not recognise this from the famous Dumbarton Drums song, which I read in Mudcat that Gene Redpath, Gene Redpath first heard that from the playing of the American musician Bob Sears. It's also the same version as the Corries, but these tunes are different. It's quite an amazing number this. Anyway, here's the Scots March. Ha <laughs> ha
you enjoyed this content, please consider supporting my Patreon account. Um, or you can also download these tunes in the comments on the YouTube channel. Uh, if you've got anything to say, just tell me on the YouTube channel. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you later.